All right, we're going to do uh, a simulation of uh, Renishaw probing routines. We're going to use the Haas uh, Mini Mill, the new Haas Mini Mill for this um, in the MTS simulation software. So we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a Renishaw probe engrave with calibration in our simulator. So this is the uh, this is the new Mini Mill. And we, we bring the program in. We'll go ahead and cycle start that guy. You get a single block cycle start. So we're going to grab our, our probe. Uh, first thing we're going to do, calibrate the probe. You can see as we, as we start our probing cycle, we're going to load up all of our, our um, inspection plus subroutines. Um, same time as they're running, we can watch the uh, macro variables being updated real time. Uh, as we run that engraving or run that uh, calibration cycle. Turn the clock up on this guy just a little bit. I think after it does the uh, calibration, then we go and we state our, our work offset, update our work offset G54. I think we do a little machining. Got a pretty good variety of um, probes in the simulation already. So we've done a pretty good job of going through the uh, all the potential options of probe and stylus combination, the you know, multi-stylus and uh, all the different size stylus there. And we have the flip command to flip the part. After the part is flipped, we're going to update our work offset again. Let's get rid of that work offset icon. So we update our work offset using the uh, Inspection Plus macros and finish up the part. With the Renishaw Inspection Plus support uh, and, and ability to read macro variables, uh, we can do any of the on-machine inspection uh, as well, uh, checking for size and location and that sort of thing that you would on a real CNC. put it in test mode and go ahead and finish up. This program was um, provided for us to put into the simulation uh, I believe it came from CAM. Um, the simulation is 100% CAM neutral. You can generate your your G code and your inspection routines however you like to generate those routines. Here we're doing some uh, on part inspection after after machining, and we're updating our reading and updating our macros based on the output of the Inspection Plus software. So however you like to generate those programs, you can write them right in the simulator, uh, in the editor. Or you can generate them however you normally would generate your programs. 
Thank you very much. We appreciate your time.